Yeah, I mean, uh, really, when I got recruited, uh, that's when I started to do a lot of my own desk tech research in terms of the capital markets in Rwanda. But I think I came to a realization that it's at a very infant stage, uh, but with a huge potential. Uh, and the good thing is that, you know, in Rwanda, I think they, you can see and feel uh, the speed at which things are moving. And therefore, I think uh, there's a great opportunity for achieving great things within a short period of time. Yeah, look, I think uh, CMA was primarily launched or formed uh, to perform two major tasks, uh, to offer market regulation and to also do capital markets uh, development uh, with other stakeholders, of course, in the economy. And therefore, whatever we do need to be uh, aligned to the mandate of, the, of, of CMA. And therefore, the priority uh, for me will be to really bring the capital markets in Rwanda to uh, uh, international standards uh, uh, by uh, having attributes of international type of uh, capital markets, uh, which is also saving uh, adequately the needs of the domestic economy. And therefore, is in two folds, uh, the, uh, the broad-based uh, capital markets growth domestically and also internationally, I think we need to, to be felt uh, so that we can be at that level. Yeah, you know, capital markets, uh, by definition, uh, it's a place where uh, the domestic companies or the international companies or the regional companies will actually come to access capital. And therefore, uh, we need to serve the domestic companies in Rwanda to be a place where people can access capital. And on the flip side of the coin, uh, it provides investment opportunities uh, to the citizens of this country and also to the citizens in diaspora, people who are from Rwanda, who are working outside, who want to invest in the country. They need to have uh, investment opportunities in terms of instruments that are available in the country to be able to channel that extra savings uh, to tap on the investment in the economy. And also, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's a market. But the reason why it's called a market is because it brings different players together. And we also need to tap into the into the foreign uh, investors who want to put their money uh, that is looking for investment opportunities globally. We need to make uh, capital markets in Rwanda to be a destination for such equity type of capital or for such type of debt capital for people who issue that instruments here. So that is how primarily I think we, we want to anchor the, the, the capital market development here. Uh, but most importantly, you, uh, you know, we need to build the ecosystem of the capital markets first in terms of uh, uh, certain areas to, to meet certain uh, international standards or regional standards that, are, that have been set for, for capital markets. And citizen participation is also very important. I mean, we need to develop a culture where citizens can also have a, a share in the economic growth of the country and capital markets provide such a good avenue. Yeah, there are a variety of uh, initiatives that uh, we have in mind that we're able to, uh, to, to actually awake uh, the potential that is sitting in the capital market in Rwanda. Number one, uh, uh, we need to really look at some of the policy initiatives uh, that, that are there. Uh, uh, the policy initiatives need to be very conducive uh, for companies to be able to come to the market uh, to raise capital, either debt capital or equity capital. Uh, we also need to uh, uh, empower uh, the whole value chain of capital markets. We need to educate companies. We need to educate intermediaries who actually assist these companies to come to the market. And we also need to build uh, the institutional capacities of the institutions involved in the value chain, be it the stock exchange, uh, the, the, the stock brokers, 
uh, the unit trust managers, the asset managers, and also the regulators so that we have a, a greater framework. And most importantly, we also need to be much more innovative to take advantage of, of, of technology. Uh, 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 give access to 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 to, to uh, uh, normal people in the in the street to capital markets. They should be able to be able to have avenues where they can actually place their money in capital markets. So I think uh, education, policy changes, infrastructure development, and also uh, development in terms of capacitating the whole value chain of the uh, capital markets uh, uh, market players. Uh, challenge number one is that you know capital development, capital markets development, by its nature takes time, and therefore I, I, I think uh, there is a little bit of patience that is needed. It takes time. Uh, it takes a concerted effort in terms of industry players working together, and you realize that I mean generally, not only in Rwanda but especially across the African market, which I know very well. You know, the level of financial literacy uh, and uh, 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 capital markets uh, 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 language is very, is very limited uh, to a lot of uh, uh, economic players or to a lot of people in the country, be it uh, people who might be uh, using the capital markets to expand their companies, come into the capital market to access uh, markets. You realize that a lot of people don't have sufficient information or they are not capacitated to do that. And therefore, I think uh, it's not only a common uh, challenge to Rwanda, it's just a common uh, challenge to most of the developing markets. And also, I think you realize that, you know, uh, institutions are not far much developed in terms of the, the capital markets language. And we, we need to start to build institutions to that level to be able to deal with that level of sophistication. Uh, fortunately, I think in Rwanda, I can see that, uh, uh, you know, they, there's, there's, a, there's a positive acceptance of uh, 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 innovation uh, in the economy generally, uh, far much more than a lot of other African countries. And this gives us an immediate competitive advantage uh, to develop the capital markets, taking advantage of the, uh, the, the acceptance of the technological advancement of the country. Yeah, I think the lesson number one is that, you know, uh, uh, it is possible to develop capital markets within a very short period of time. But it needs concerted effort of industry players, uh, uh, the capital markets players, the government uh, needs to be bold and deliberate in terms of designing policies and programs that are speared towards the growth of the capital markets. Uh, capital markets uh, holds a lot of potential. Uh, generally to, to unlock a lot of economic opportunities in the country. We have seen that in a lot of other countries that are, that are actually are, are out there. And therefore, the other thing is, you know, we need to, to, to each one of us play a role. Uh, it is not only CMA that can be able to develop the capital markets in, 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 in Rwanda. A lot of other market players also need to sufficiently play their role. The central banks, the banks, the pension fund, the, 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 the Minister of Finance uh, by formulating appropriate policies and, uh, and all the other intermediaries in between the, the capital markets also need to, to, to play their roles. And uh, they just need to empower themselves in order to see what are the things that need to be done. But I think uh, we are going to be very successful in developing the capital markets in Rwanda. Yeah, I think by the end of 2024, uh, we will see a lot of approvals, especially in the regulatory environment. There's going to be a lot of changes in terms of the regulatory environment. There's going to be a lot in terms of public education and also intermediary uh, uh, education because we just want to build the base so that when we start running, we now know that everyone is on the, on, on the same boat. And also I think uh, we are going to be very much 
uh, uh, opening avenues for a lot of more innovative ideas uh, to come forward into the capital markets, to actually issue products, introduce new products. So that's a lot of other things that we're actually going to be doing. And also, I think, uh, possibly for the first time, we're also going to see uh, one or two international presence of Rwanda capital markets roadshows, uh, because, you know, for you to develop the capital markets, you can't only concentrate on the domestic economy. You need to concentrate on the ecosystem. So we just want to open up and then take everybody on board, domestic investors, foreign investors, foreign institutions at the same time, so that when we start running, you know, everyone has joined the race.